So stable footage is one of the most important things for your viewer experience. If the camera is bouncing all over the place, it's much harder to watch whatever your content is. So for most of our videos, it's not an issue. I have my camera on a tripod and I'm just sitting here at a desk. But if I wanna go out vlogging or do tests for all of you, it gets a little bit more difficult. So I did a small comparison comparing my Sony a6600 to my iPhone 12 mini, and the iPhone does a much better job stabilizing the shot, but it's not perfect. So it's maybe not like the GoPro level or having a gimbal. So what I wanna test out today is actually using a gimbal. So what I have here is the DJI Osmo 4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare recording videos with this compared to my trusty switch pod that you've probably seen in several other of my videos. So why don't we go outside and see how these compare. Okay, so let's see how the switch pod works walking down these stairs. What do you think? All right, let's try the stairs of the Asmo. Okay, so here's the switch pod walking down the street. Okay, so here I am now walking with the Osmo. It doesn't have the face tracking on right now. I'm just holding it out at arm's length. But what I can also do is highlight my face and then I can move the camera and then it's still going to try to keep me somewhat in the middle of the frame. Okay, so now let's try running with the Osmo. Let's see if I can hold this steady while running. Not so easy. Maybe you want to add some more movement to your shot. Maybe something like this. How'd I do? Did I stay in frame? Did I cut my head off or have the camera point up at the sky? It's tough to tell without reviewing your footage. Okay, so here's the Asmo held out at arm's length and not using any tracking. So what if you wanna move around a lot more while you're recording your videos? Maybe you're teaching people how to cook or how to do yoga or it's physical therapy or exercise or you just don't wanna stand still. The thing is with your camera on the switch pod or on a tripod or something like this, this is essentially the range of motion that you have of how much you can move around and still stay on frame. Obviously if I move too close, my head gets cut off, I can't move down, I need to stay right here. So if you wanna move around a lot while you're recording, this is really gonna help you. As you saw just a second ago, I couldn't really move that much and still stay in the frame. But with this, you can essentially move almost 360 degrees around where you have the camera set up. So whatever you need to be doing at the time, maybe teaching something, if you're cooking, whatever it might happen to be, you can know that you're essentially in the middle of the frame. So I could bend down if I had to, if I have to go up a little bit, it's gonna follow me essentially anywhere. So focus on what you're doing and record your videos. Okay, so after seeing the footage, what'd you think? Did you notice a big difference as far as how stable the shot was using the gimbal? I mean, for me, going down the stairs, running, even walking, you notice a pretty big difference. One of the things with using the switch pod though, is you're able to get the phone a little bit further away. It's probably a foot further away. And so you're gonna see more of the background in the shot while I was vlogging while using this. The other thing I really liked about this is to be able to set the camera down and to be able to walk around and know that I'm gonna stay in the shot. One of the things that I found a little bit weird when I was using the face tracking though, I'm holding the camera out you know, straight in front of me at arm's length. And I feel like my phone was like at some weird angle, like I was gonna kind of go off screen sometimes. That was one of the things that I thought, you know, if I just turned off the face tracking, you know, it would still, you know, keep me in the middle of the frame. But what'd you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you wanna see our other videos on how to record great videos with just your cell phone, check out the playlist right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.